uh, Professor Liu is going to teach you the concept of for loop introduction. In Java, when you use for loop, is you in is in at you already know how many times you want to repeat the process because the for loop is used a counter to control huh? no no matter how many times five times ten times one hundred times one billion times ten trillion times you already know how many times okay usually we use a counter we like to use i all right so look here i equal one and less equal five so one two three four five five times y y you can do decrement five four three two one and you can even do like every time plus by two so two four six eight ten that's also five times and you can do every time times twenty that's also do five times all these five example here create loop of five times but uh no need to show off your math skills because you just confuse yourself and others the best way is start from zero if that's five times zero less five ten times zero less five all right the reason we do that is this because when you do for loop, you're going to store the value in an array or a list. Array or a list. The you know the, the index first index is zero, so you get used to use this way. So for example, display professor's name five times. Of course, just zero and five. All right, and next, that's a uh, you know display and we also use for loop for example right here all right we already know a string and uh how many how many uh characters we know that because we can use the length to that and we are going to count how many upper case for that so example one and two let me show you how to do it so first of all this will be right professor liu's name five times and i have a string java is the best programming language i have one two three four five six seven uppercase all right so for this one we do five times and the rest of this one we i equals zero i equals strings length so these will count how many lengths right here and if that's upper case I increment by one so let's run it right now so I run this program all right so you will write the professor professor's name five times and give you seven upper case all right so i hope you like this program so for loop right now okay now let's take a look some more complicated thing called nested uh uh for nested loop okay let's take nested loop so first nested loop example will be i want you to display a rectangle of three row one two three row each row has four columns okay that's how we do that first of all let me close this and i am going to go to a double for loop all right let me start from here right now all right so first of all we are going to write just one uh one uh asterisk so you write um, all right i'm not going to use print line i'm going to print and i'm going to put quotation asterisk okay this will give you one let's run it right now so run as java application 
is just give you one asterisk. Okay, one. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to do this right now. I'm going to make it, um, I'm going to make it to, you know, to have four of these. All right. So what I do is I do this four m integer i equal zero i less than four i plus plus. All right. So I do this right now. So this will be give you a uh, four um, asterisk that's running right now. So build it. Run. This will give you four asterisk. All right. So now I want. So I finished the uh, one one row. How about I need four four three rows of these. So I need the outer loop right here. So for integer, if I put j equals zero and j less than three and j plus plus. Okay. Then I'm just going to have these right now. All right. So I'm going to put this thing here and put it inside. All right. So if I run this, you won't have the correct answer because right now we did not have end outline. Let's try. Let's try this. Instead of you have three lines of uh, uh, each line has a four asterisk. You're going to have a twelve asterisk. Let me run it with you right now. When you run it, you have twelve. Now you realize when once I have four, I really need to have an end line. Another four, I need to have an end line. So that will be after this one. I need to have an end line. So I'm going to write system sys and I'm going to pull. All right. So this one, um then uh, I actually don't need to do this okay just do it like that will be fine all right so let's run it right now all right so I got uh, three line and each line has a four asterisk all right so I hope you like this program and we are going to take a look more we're going to take a look more so we just show you this one. And what happened if I wanted to have a uh, four row and three? So that's very easy. All right. So let me take out my thing right here. All right. So now uh, if I need um, four row and three, I'm going to change this one to four and change this one to three. And let me run there. So I got four row, each one has three. All right, then we can do more. Okay, now this one is a little bit more trickier. I I want one star, two star, three star, four star. Okay, so that will be very easy right now. And what we're going to do is this. Notice this is outside, and we're not going to use a. So this will be always give you a three. But if I don't want that, I want these two uh, relative to J. It's relative to J. So I'm going to change these to uh, J. All right. And um, so let me see. I equals zero. Uh, J equals zero. Uh, let me. I believe this one. 
I need to pull. Mm, I need to pull. Let me double check. Okay, let me run it right now. So run it. So um, I got one, two, three, four. I got one less than one. So for this one, uh, we better start from doing like this. All right. So I am going to do this right now. So for this, I am I'm going to do. Uh, let me see how do I do that. If I put this as uh, one and less equal four. And I pull one and uh, less equal j. Okay, let's try like this way right now and run as Java application. All right, so sometimes we have to fix. All right, so the rest of them. Uh, it's a little bit trickier right here. All right, so we have three lines. Okay, uh, each line has one, two, three, four, five. But what happened is this. Um, add the uh, even space. Even space, even is asterisk. Odd is the dash. R is the dash. All right. So, and next one, next one. Uh, we are going to do have one, two, three lines. One, two, three lines. Okay. And once is I plus J mod by two equal equal zero. I have, uh, I have a uh, asterisk. Otherwise, I have a blank. So this give you a. a checkboard pattern all right so now we are going to work on the most important uh, question here is random number java give you a random number right here and the random number what you're going to do is you're going to do random generator new random okay once you do that and you will be allowed to create the uh, the uh, the random number, the num when random number you create it is this. Okay, so if you are going to do uh, generate the next in six, what you get is zero to five. That's what you get zero to five. So you have to plus one. So let me show you how you do that right now. Okay. So let me show you. So we are going to write a random number. Hold on. Let me get rid of this. All right. So first, I need to say random. All right. Then uh, I'm just going to call generator equal new random. And then we have to get the library for that. Once we got that right now, all right, so I'm going to use a for loop, okay? I'm going to create 10 random number. So for integer i equal zero, i less than 10, i plus plus, all right? Then I am going to uh, just uh, write an in create an integer right here. So system all right and I'm going to put this one is remember I want to do uh, integer if I just put generator uh, next integer 6 I'll get 0 to 5. Let me show you right now. Okay. So I'm going to say uh, G N E R A T O R the uh, next in. All right. If I put 6 right here, 
Mm -hmm. All right. Then uh, I get a uh, ten number, but uh, the number will be zero to five. Let me show you right now. So I run it right now. So I got a number is between. I just happen don't have any zero, but you will never have six. Okay. So in order to do that, what you need to do is you. We always do one plus. Okay, one plus. In this way, um, this way you're going to get one to six right now. So let's run it one more time. Okay. So I have one, you know, I have uh, all this number right now. So this is how you do, how you do uh, very popular, very popular, popular when you do random numbers. Okay, so next popular thing right here, for example, we do the um, um, display, we're going to write 1 to 100. So we do for loop one less than hundred sum plus equal i in display. Then next homework assignment uh, number one, we're going to create a class called die. In the class die right here we have side. Okay, so what we need to do is that's your class die. <coughs> And this is your constructor. This is your constructor. Okay. So then you initialize your generator from new random. Then we're going to do this. If this is 10, it's 10, it's 5, it's 5. So depend on what you want to give to me. So once I have that, I can roll a die right here. So my die is six. Some you know, if you have two two dice, then that'll be twelve, right? So six, and I'm going to run it ten times. All right. So uh, I do hope you like uh, the Java for loop. It's very useful program.